Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Courtney for those of you who are new to my channel. And I have not made a video in like eight months. And it's kind of crazy because I used to make them all the time. Like I'd make one YouTube video like once a week. And like now I never make them. But anyway, in this video, I am going to be giving you guys a January 2023 life update. The last time I did this video, I had a lot of people Instagram DM me and say like how they like seeing my updates and stuff like that and some of them were like old friends you know because they actually watch my channel and they're like oh my gosh like you should do this more often kind of thing so the last time i gave you guys a life update it was april of 2022 so it has been like a long time since then it's been almost a year since then so it's been a while and there's a lot that's happened a lot that's changed a lot that has gone on so we're gonna kind of go over all that so in the video I told you guys that I wasn't going out a lot um you know I made the video back in April so I wasn't going out a lot I was staying in I wasn't really doing much um the only time I'd go out is if I had to be at a class or even sometimes then I'd skip and then um I just like I was feeling very lazy at the time um but I do I have been going out more recently I actually go out every single day I spend like 80% of my day out and about doing things um I told you guys that I'd get more involved in being in organizations well I haven't done that and even like up to this point I'm only really involved in like two organizations and I only attend events when I'm available and when I can so and even then, like, I pick and choose which events I show up to and that I go to, so. Um, but one of those events uh, is the Marketing Club here at OSU. I'm a part of that. Um, I've gone to, like, four of the meetings, and I've met a couple people from it. Um, but I haven't been to all of them, but I think it's fun. I never ended up doing Sigma Phi Lambda. I know I talked to you guys about that. I went to a couple of their sisterhood events and I just it's not that I didn't like the girls they were really nice people um but I've heard some not so great things about them um and some of the things they do so it just it and it just ended up not being for me so yeah um last time I talked to y'all I was also taking 17 hours I'm never taking 17 hours again the fall semester I took 15 hours and this semester I'm taking 15 hours. So, um, but in the fall I took consumer market behavior. I took a business skills class. I took accounting and event planning. Um, and that was fall. And then this semester I'm taking sports marketing, economics, professional skills, marketing analytics, and data analytics. That's what I'm in currently. And it has been one week of school. We've only had one week of school. So this upcoming week, Today is Saturday, so this next Monday we'll start our second week of school. Um, some of the stuff that I did over the summer, so I told y'all in the last update video that I made that we were going on a lot of family trips, so we actually did. So we went to the Frio River located in South Texas, and it was actually so much fun. We stayed in a cabin, they had a hot tub, they had, you know, like a bonfire thing. It was like in the mountains in South Texas. So if you go like two hours outside of San Antonio, there's like, uh, it's called Concan, Texas near the Frio River. And they have like a whole like resort thing out there. And it is so beautiful. And we went river rafting. We went swimming. We went, you know, I think my dad went deep sea or not deep sea, but he went fishing. And then, um, you know, we got to just, you know, there were some good small town shopping places that we got to go to. So that was really fun. Um, yeah, we did a lot of things out there. Yeah. And then we also went, where else did we go? We went somewhere else, y'all. Okay. Oh, for Memorial Day, we went to a really nice hotel resort that was an all-inclusive resort. And it was really fun. We stayed there for like three days. And, I mean, we really just spent, like, the whole trip by the pool, honestly. And, like, the swim-up bar and, like, all that. It was so cool. Um, another thing. So, I do currently live in Stillwater. Um, and I'm living in this apartment right now. But an update 
update information i signed a lease for a different um a different living place and it is not an apartment it is actually kind of like a cottage house and i'm really excited it is um a five bed five and a half bath so i will have three other roommates four but my sister's one of the roommates and then the other three i don't really know who they are yet but I know they will be girls because you can have co-ed roommates. But me and my sister aren't doing co-ed roommates. Um, and then what else? Oh, yeah. But we have a patio and the rooms are like three times the size. My closet is a walk-in. That's three times the size. And then like I will have so much room and space. It's like 2,000 square foot. No, it's like 2,500 square foot. And this apartment that I'm living in is like 850 square foot. And that doesn't even in, and that includes the two, my two roommates rooms that I don't even go in. So really like I'm only walking in like 700, 750 foot of this apartment. And now I'm going to go to 2,500 square footage. Isn't that crazy? I'm excited. It'll be fun. So I move in there in August. So we'll get the update. You'll get an update probably around that time anyway so yeah um another a big huge update oh my gosh a big huge update so the last time I made a life update video it was April 2022 I've said that like four times but it was April of 2022 and I was at the background see I'm at my apartment now the background of the last video I was at my boyfriend's house well me and him broke up long story short a lot of stuff happened um but I'm just gonna kind of cut it short and just tell you all a brief little explanation of what happened because I know I'm gonna get questions about it and I would rather just answer it on this video and not this is what happens when I go public about my relationships so now I have to tell you guys what happened um so really, he was just being very manipulative and controlling all the time. And it was getting to the point where it was affecting me and my mental health and like who I like what the things I wanted to do and the things that I enjoyed about my life. And like anytime he wasn't at work, it's like he had to be ne like literally physically next to me. And like I would be in class and he would be like right outside the class because like he didn't he wanted to spend every single minute second with me. And at first, you know, I thought it was cute, you know. I thought, I was, like, at the beginning of our relationship, I'm like, oh, my gosh, this is so cute. Like, he wants to come to class with me and, like, hang out, you know. But then, okay, think about it. After, like, a month or two of that, I'm just like, dude, go home and, like, have time to yourself, you know. Like, be productive. No, he never did any of that. He was always by my side. And then when we got really into our relationship, he would, like, get mad whenever I wouldn't be at his house like staying the night like he would make me stay the night over there pretty much every night or else he would like throw a fucking tantrum like a kid and it was absolutely crazy and then so I ended up breaking up with him once and there was more to it like this is just the gist so if y'all think I'm breaking up with him because I because he's too clingy that's like not even the whole story okay but he's very manipulative and very controlling and he tries to tell me what to do and when to do it but anyway I broke up with him at the beginning of, at the beginning, I broke up with him the first time. And when I broke up with him, we were broken up for like three days. And then I got back with him because I was like, you know what? He promises me he's going to change. All this is going to happen. And then three weeks later, I break up with him again. Because I'm like, you know what? No, no, it was like a month later. I broke up with him again because he told me he would change. He said, give him two weeks. I gave him a month and he still did the same crap. So, you know, I was done. I blocked him on everything. I stopped. I didn't talk to him at all. Like, I blocked him on everything. Like, even text. Because so I was like, this is toxic, you know? Like, this is, like, the most toxic relationship I have ever been in. And I've been in, like, three serious relationships. And this one was, like, the most toxic. I wouldn't even say me and him were serious. I mean, like, I lived with him pretty much because I was basically forced to. You know, and my mom would get mad. Like, she'd be like, why are you living with him? Like, you know, like, she would get so mad. Like, she would track my location and be like, 
Like, I'd have to leave my phone at my apartment to stay the night there sometimes. It was bad. It was just so toxic. And I hated lying to my mom, and I hated all that. But anyway, so that's over with. That's, I, I kind of went into too much detail about that, but that's over. And then in the last video, I told you guys that my mom was having surgery. Well, her surgery went well. Everything went good. We had to wait in that, we had to wait in the freaking waiting room for like eight hours. Good thing is, is they had a cafeteria on site so I could get food whenever I wanted. And I had brought a water bottle so I got to refill it. Oh yeah, and then a huge update. In July, I told you guys my parents were moving. Well, they moved. <laughs> they moved out of my hometown and they moved to a really nice small town, smaller town. And they love it. They're living in an 800 square foot house right now. And it's, it's really hard when me and my sister go home because it's, like, the smallest thing ever. Like, my sister's asleep sleep on the couch because the bed won't fit two people. It's too small. It's a full size, but me and my sister in one bed don't mix. Not a full size. But, anyway, so that happened. It's been really, really good. It's different. It's different. It's a change, but it was really good. Um, so I told you guys that I was coaching my cousin back in May for her cheer tryouts. She made the team she wanted. She made a level two team. And she's actually working on her level four tumbling skills. And she has all of her level six flying skills. So I'm really proud of her. We'll see what team she makes next year. Um, I also wanted to mention because of my ex relationship and just other things I had going on anxiety wise. I was in a very depressed state through the months of August through October recently. Um, I just, you know, I was always down about myself. I was always going through it. I was always stressed. I... It was really hard for me. Um, for my birthday, back in May, I had a birthday dinner, but I went to breakfast with that friend group that I had. I told you in the last update video that I had that friend group. Well, because me and my ex broke up, I don't have that friend group anymore. And I only really talked to one of them. And he doesn't even like anybody that was in that friend group anymore either. And because they're all crazy now. And, um... He still, like, lives with all of them, but he's moving out in, like, three months, so, you know. Um, uh, so, I met a cute new little friend group. This is very recent. This is, like, October, okay? I met a cute little friend group. It's me, my sister, my two roommates, and, like three of their close friends and then we have a couple of people down the hall and then a couple of my friends and there's about 10 of us in my new little friend group it is so cute i like it i really do and i feel like having a good set of friends is what like keeps you going and makes you happy like there's other things that make you happy but having a good set of friends make you happy you know they keep you like on your feet and like you know i don't know that's just what i think um, so I already told you I signed a lease, so I got a new little hobby that I like. Before I go into that, I have to go into something else. So, I got a brand new update, like, as of the end of October, or no, like, October. A lot of stuff happened in October. So, October, I started messaging this guy. <laughs> Everybody's like, I already know where this is going. Um, I started messaging this guy. He was really sweet, you know? And he told me one thing that really kind of set me off. Like, it was a, I don't know, it was like a yellow flag to me, right? Like, I had to explore it before I just completely shut him down. And so, and I thought he was really cute and he was really nice. Like, he treated me right, you know, like all that. So, we hung out for a few weeks, like two or three weeks, and like like a week, a weekend, I was like, this guy's way too nerdy. Like, I can't do it, you know? And then um, about two weeks in, I actually started kind of liking him, you know? Like, we hung out like almost every day, and he lives in the same apartment complex I do. So it was just like really easy to hang out. Um, and, I don't know, it just, it felt like so easy to get along with him and all that. And then by week three, I was like, okay, I like this guy. Like, I like him, <laughs> you know? 
So we got to know each other, we hung out a lot, and then November, we just kept doing the same thing, getting to know each other more, hanging out almost every day. I just had a voice crack. And then December rolls around. And I'm like, I want him to ask me out, you know? <laughs> like In the back of my head, I'm like, I want him to ask me out. And then like, like two weeks into December, I say, hey, like, I want to go take pictures, you know? And he's like, okay. And we go take pictures. And he asks me out while we take pictures. <laughs> it was the cutest thing ever. And now I've been dating him for, like, almost two months. And he's really sweet. Um, And he has yet to, like, change, do anything different. Like, we are just going strong. Now, we do get mad at each other. I'm not going to say, like, stuff doesn't happen because I get so mad at him sometimes like okay I've only been actually mad at him like once once ever in like the four months of me knowing him okay and like he just freaking set me off to the max and I'll explain that story in a second but that's yeah so anyway back to the new hobby the new hobby I have is playing the keyboard and why is that it is because my boyfriend has kind of introduced his hobby to me and I'm like you know what I used to play piano when I was little with my grandma but I never really got into it into it like I took lessons when I was a kid for like a year or two but I don't really remember much about it because I was like seven when I took lessons and I was nine when I finished lessons so I never really like got into it into it but so he started showing me how to play the keyboard and I fell in love with it like I like it a lot and it's something I really like to do, like, when I have time to do stuff, like, on my own, I like to do that. So, my mom said that if I stay committed to it, she'll buy me a keyboard in May. So, I'm excited for my birthday. Anyway, we're almost done, y'all. So, I got new roommates in July. I already told y'all that. Um, but, yeah, so I started dating this boy in December. Y'all know that now. Um, so working out, me and my boyfriend go to the gym every single day together. That was part of my New Year's resolution, and I have actually stuck to it, and it has been almost a month. It's so crazy. Ever since I started school this past week, I've gone Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I did have a rest day in there, and Saturday and Sunday, I'm going to the gym too. But me and my boyfriend are, like, very committed, and, like, he's teaching me the right way to work out, and it is making me so sore, but it will become beneficial and very helpful for me in the long run. So looking forward to it. Um, and then we're not really on a diet or anything. We're just kind of like, we're just kind of like eating healthy, healthier. We're not eating out as much, which I've struggled with that one because I usually eat out a lot, but we have been eating a little bit better. So he's eating really good. He got me off soda. I don't drink root beer anymore. He got me off it. He put me on this, if I have it in here. Oh, I don't. He put me on the Zevia ginger root beer. So good. Literally changed my life. It changed my life because it tastes like root beer. It's a little bit lighter taste, but it's still root beer. And it doesn't have any of the bad stuff in it. So, you, if you're trying to get off soda and you're trying to, like, eat healthier, Zevia will be your best friend. Um, I've invested in clothing. <laughs> I am obsessed I have so many new clothes since the last time I've talked to y'all I literally my entire underneath my bed is stocked with my whole summer wardrobe and half of my fall wardrobe the rest is in my closet and in all these drawers and my workout wardrobe has expanded so much that like I have three drawers of workout clothes now three drawers it's so bad and then I got these new shoes only because I literally got these like a week ago and I've never worn them and I'm wearing them today. They're black and white Brooks. I didn't know these shoes were so cute until I put them on and I was like, whoa, I might want another pair, you know, but I got like five pairs of shoes for Christmas. Like I have a shoe obsession right now and like it's going strong and it's been like, it's literally lasted a month already and I'm still obsessed with shoes. So that's a thing right now. I'm also Sheen obsessed. I get half my wardrobe from Sheen. I actually have shoes from Sheen as well. And I've just been obsessed with that too. Okay, so I'm going to talk about what I got for Christmas. Well, I got these shoes. Um, I got a bunch of workout clothes. I got, I actually got this brand new Bible. 
I really like it. If you guys are looking for a good Bible, this is the brand. That's what I got. Um, I also got a Bible study. It's a 52-week, one-year Bible study plan. I'm actually falling behind on it because school is just getting in the way. But honestly, that's some that's some stuff I got. I also got new. I also got a new purse. It's the same purse that I've always had, but it's a new one. Um, I got some headphones. I got some other stuff. Um, my family Christmas went well this year. Oh, and I got an even. Okay, this is my last thing, and then this video will be done. Guys, I got a cat. A cat. <laughs> my family has not been a cat family since I was 10. When my little kitty died. He was a brown cat. And I called him Kitty. And the day before he died, he bit my thumb. Like, bit it. Like, it was like chugging some blood out of there. And um, we found a stray cat on the street. Because there's a lot of stray cats that kind of like run around um, where my parents live now. And we got this freaking cat, and we had to go to, like, take him to, like, the vet, you know, to make sure he had his shots. Apparently, um, this cat, like, didn't have his shots or anything, so we had to get him the shots, we had to do all that, and we did. And now we named this cat Pepper. It's a black cat with green eyes, and we named this cat, and now we have this cat that just kind of wanders around our house, like, all the time, and, like, like, she'll leave... It's a girl. She'll leave and, like, come back. Like, she'll leave for, like, three or four hours and go, like, hunt mice in the woods and shit. Like, I'm not even kidding. And then she'll come back and she'll, like, she'll, like, eat the food we give her as, as a treat. So we don't have to feed her, like, a normal cat because she hunts her food, which is kind of weird. But she's a stray. So, like, she's used to, like, hunting her own food. It's kind of cool. But, like, at the same time, it's, like, it saves us money because we don't have to worry about getting a litter box. And we don't have to worry about, all we have to worry about is giving her water, which is easy, you know. But, like, yeah, our cat's an outside cat. But it's a cute cat. And, you know, we give her a little bed outside and everything. But she's just, she's a hunting cat, man. Like, she likes to hunt mice. And there's a lot of mice that live where my parents live. But anyway... That is my update, and I will give you guys another one in probably, like, three or four months. I don't know, whenever I get back on my YouTube channel. But every, like, couple months, I'll check my YouTube channel, and I'll be like, oh, I haven't posted, and I'll forget to get on. And, like, three more months will go by, and I'll be like, oh, i got to make a video, you know? But anyway, thanks for watching my video, and I will see you guys in the next video, which will probably be pretty soon. I'm probably going to give y'all a shoe haul of all the shoes that I own. Yeah. I have some ideas in mind and I also have some requests that are still in my uh, inbox that I have to go through but anyway I hope you guys have a good day and I will talk to you guys later bye